Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial for the energy machine thing that I built in my Space Astronomy 2 Let's Play World. And in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to build it. But not only that, I'm going to be showing you everything you need, how to craft it. You need loads of stuff, you need some machinery as you can see over here. Um... So let me display this for you. Basically how it works is it takes the mystical agriculture mod mixed in with the, the Ender IO mod and the simple generators mod plus uh, RF tools providing for a nice crafter, extra utilities for a nice trash can, but those two things are optional. And this is optional as well for a growth crystal, which what mod is this from? Tiny Progress. But if you're playing place, place uh, Space Astronomy 2, just like I am, then you should have all of the mods down um, that are needed to make this. So right here, I have a capacitor bank that can store 1 million RF, and I've been letting this machine run for a little while. You see all of these generators are full, each with like 4 million RF. Then I have some backlog over here. I don't think it started to backlog yet. Um... So, let me just place in these, and boom. Holy cow, you can see it's flying in. The reason why it's coming in in such mass quantities like that is because I have all of these energy conduits constantly pointing into it. The more energy conduits you have pointing into it, then the more energy that can constantly flow. So, it is... G just finished um, getting rid of all of that spare energy and now it's at a consistent rate of 36 RF per tick and besides if you have a lot of automation then this should do just a trick um, and yeah this farm is expandable anyways so let's get on to t uh, with the tutorial so in the first segment of this video I will show you how to get all the items necessary to build this farm if you would like to skip ahead into the video to when I just do the plain tutorial then a number should appear on the screen right now but anyways let's get straight into this alright so for this design you're going to need a few things called a growth accelerator and you're going to need a uh, some growth crystals these two are optional but this is the main reason why this farm is so efficient because of how well because of how well and fast it grows so to make a growth accelerator you will need four pieces of stone one diamond so this is kind of expensive but this is really a middle game farm um just in case like it's it's a farm where for when you have lots of resources and just diamonds to burn and that sort of thing. So, uh, you also need these things called Infernium Blocks. To make an Infernium Block, you'll need Infernium Essence. And Infernium Essence can be obtained by killing mobs, or it can be found underground in uh, the overworld, the end, or the nether. Uh, and Growth Crystal... And now you'll need a growth crystal, which is also optional. So to make it, you'll need four pieces of iron, a sea lantern, two bone block, which is just nine pieces of bone. Um, and you will also need dirty glass, if it'll let me. Come on. Come on. Uh, you need some dirty glass, which will require you to get some soul sand and any type of glass that you have so you will have to have access to the nether and this is quite an expensive farm I mean like you don't have to do it as big as I did the only reason I did that is because the tier 3 growth crystal um, the range is in this area of effect so um, and then what you can do with those growth crystals is you can turn them into tier 2 growth crystals by putting it, and this is where it gets expensive. Reinforced obsidian, which will need obsidian and iron bars. Um, let's see. Uh, you will also need an two end crystals, which is glass and I and gas tier, that's default vanilla stuff. Um, you will need a reinforced watering can, which is a nether star, obsidian, and a watering can, which is iron and a bucket of water. Uh, and finally, you will need a, uh, a, um, 
and this is not recommended as your ordinary farm. Uh, let's see, growth crystal, tier 2, and if you, if you're really dedicated to this, and you want it to be as fast as possible, you can use your one dragon egg you get in the world, and turn it into a tier 3, which is what I have done in my world, and so, th if you have all of these things done, that will allow uh, the entire farm to run extremely efficiently. So, you will also need coal seeds. In order to make coal seeds, you will need coal, you will need prudentium essence. In order to get prudentium essence, you will just wrap around infernium essence, which can be found anywhere in the world. And you will use an infusion crystal. You can use either one. This one is unlimited, but it's a lot more expensive. And a diamond. Sorry that my game is a bit laggy. Uh, just this computer wasn't really built to handle mod packs too well. And then that will give you some Prudentium Essence, and then you also want some Tier 2 Crafting Seeds. In order to get Tier 2 Crafting Seeds, uh, surround a Tier 1 Crafting Seed with Prudentium Essence. And then in order to get a Tier 1, surround a Base Crafting Seed with Infernium Essence. And to make a Base Crafting Seed, it's Prosperity Shards around with seeds. Oh, and by the way, Prosperity Shards can be found commonly underground in the nether and or overworld whichever one you prefer and now you're also going to need some conduits to transport items and energy and now so there's four types of energy conduits there is the normal energy conduit which i would not recommend the enhanced energy conduit which i probably wouldn't recommend either i would probably recommend the max energy um energy conduit because it is the fastest and can transport the most rf because this farm over there will rack in ridiculous amounts of coal because i just built this and it's just starting up it hasn't really started to generate that much um and it depends how many generators you put in we'll get to that later in order to make these, you're going to need conduit uh, binder with either conductive iron, energetic alloy, which is th uh, which is this one. And I'll sh oh dear, I don't know what I was doing there, uh, but uh, energetic alloy or some vibrant alloy. I'll show you all how I'll show you how to get all of those in a second. Also going to need some item conduits, which is some binder compost and some pulsating iron nuggets, which can come from pulsating iron. I'll tell you how to get it in just a second. But in order to make the conduit binder, you're going to need binder compost, which can be made with just gravel and either s sand or red sand and some clay. And what you do is you take that binder compost, you slap it inside of this thing, a furnace, and there you go. Um, come on, let me give an example, and from that you should receive the conduit binder, there we go, and then you can use that in recipes with this stuff. Next, we're going to need some machinery, so we're going to need an uh, alloy smelter, um, in order to do that, just some iron, uh, some uh, furnaces, a cauldron and a machine chassis. Machine chassis is simple. Iron bars, iron, and a basic capacitor. Basic capacitor, redstone, gold nuggets, and copper. Copper can be found commonly around Y level 40 in the overworld and I believe on different planets as well. Um, okay, so you also want a sag mill, which is just going to be flint four pieces of iron, a piston, and another machine chassis, but you're going to want power. So you want to, I would recommend some sort of fuel generator, um, but since you have the simple generators mod installed, I would recommend a furnace generator, MK1. In order to do that, you're going to need four pieces of stone, three pieces of iron, a furnace, and a redstone block. Pretty simple. And then I'm going to go up some coal and some coal blocks. So now, the you can use either both, you can use lots of different things, any, basically anything you can put in a furnace. But you might uh, think, oh, I'm just going to put coal because that saves power. Well, no, it doesn't save power. And actually, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that coal blocks 
have are are better. Okay. Um, let me see here. I'm pretty sure that coal blocks are the equivalent in terms of burn time. It's like 10 pieces of coal. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. And it just saves um, on energy. So as you can see, uh, it is generating 60 RF per tick. Um, there we go. And you can see that if you just put these machines next to it, they'll just snatch all of the energy up. But you could configure it. And I like to I uh, configure it too so that it constantly is pulling energy from them and I believe this one is just snatching up all the energy. Oh, you little alloy smelter, you're not supposed to snatch up all the energy like that, but it will distribute the energy evenly. And now in the in the alloy smelter, you are going to want to make or it depends on what type of So yeah, in the alloy smelter, it determines what type of conduits you want. So remember, these are basic. Um, these are enhanced, and this, and this is the best. So in order to get conductive iron, it is you just slap some iron and some redstone into an alloy smelter. For this, it's a bit more expensive, and you need to go to the Nether. Glowstone, redstone, and gold, and gold. And for this, you need. You can also farm all of these resources, by the way, but you need some energetic alloy and ender pearls. So it all depends what is available to you. And then you just mix those with this binder comp or conduit binder, and you can get everything you need. Now this is filling up, and there's a few more resources, but we'll come back to that later. Okay. So, um, you are all, actually, we're going to go back to it now. You're going to need a farming, did I put a farming station here? Uh, please tell me, I don't think I put the recipe for a farming station here. No, I did not, no, I did not. Uh, we'll get to that later, we will get to that later, I'll show you. Actually, let me just, let me just do this. Farming station there we go sorry apparently i just missed an item there we go and i'll just slap this thing right here so you're also going to want a farming station which is what you're using quickly farm the resources so for a farming station it is steal a machine chassis which i showed you how to melt make um, it is also going to be a diamond hoe, um, some pulsating crystals, a Z logic controller. Well, I'll get, I'll tell you how to make a Z logic controller in a minute. But in order to do this, you need some pulsating iron nuggets and a diamond. And in order to get pulsating iron, oh by the way, pulsating iron is what you use for uh, to get the item conduits. So you need to put iron and an ender pearl in a furnace, and that can be used to make some nuggets, which can be used for item conduits. There you go. Um, but you also need it to make some pulsating crystals. There you go. Um, you are, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's every. No, 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 it's not everything. You're also gonna need electric steel in order to make electric steel. Uh, you are going to need to put an iron ingot, some cr uh, coal powder, no, or any of this stuff, and some silicon into an alloy smelter, and it will make it. Wondering, thinking, how do you get crushed coal, and how do you get, um, how do you get, um, what's it called? Uh, silicon, silicon. So, if I just do this... Then I go to alloy, no, sag mill. You can see you can get, from cobblestone, you can get gravel and sand, right? And then if you put gravel inside of a sag mill, you can turn that into sand and flint. Um, then if you put sand inside of a sag mill, if I can find it, sag mill, you can get silicon. And in order to get coal dust, it's really simple. You just slap some coal into this. Uh, sag mill. I don't know why I switched these around. They were supposed to be the other way around. 
Okay, next, uh, because for the farming station, we still need a Z-Logic controller. In order to get that, we are going to have to make a slice and splice. Don't ask. I honestly don't know. So you're going to need any type of head, and heads can drop off of mobs. I uh, like just if you just go around killing a few zombies, one of them will drop their head. It is not like default vanilla, or you need to get a supercharged creeper. Uh, you also need shears, an iron axe, a machine chassis, and some solarium. In order to get solarium, I had to set up over here. There you go. And alloy smelter. Put soul sand and gold into an alloy smelter, and you can get one of these. And with that. Uh, I also provided, I need some coal, uh, and I'll just use this coal. I also provided a, another th one of these, and you see that it's filling up, but with that, we can make the Z-Logic controller in order to make one of those. We just need some solarium, a zombie head, which you can obtain from zombies, some redstone, and some more silicon. And in order for it to operate, you need a pair, any type of shears or any type of axe. I have special mystical agriculture tools that um, have unlimited durability. And let me just change it to dawn. There we go. And finally, just to wrap some things up, we already we already discussed coal seeds. Now you can use any type of furnace generator in this design that you want. The thing is. The higher, there are three tiers, the higher the tier, then the uh, more ener the quicker they'll generate energy. I would suggest three, although it is kind of expensive, because you need, uh, in order to get one three, you need a furnace generator MK2 surrounded by one dragon's breath, in order to, and dragon's breath can be obtained by the ender dragon. In order to get a MK2, you need to wrap MK1s, Around the dragon's breath and mk1 i showed you that earlier so you can use inner any tier if you just like i'm pretty sure one furnace generator or a stack of furnace generators is equivalent to can make you about one uh mk3 furnace generator and i'm sure 64 furnace generators and one mk would be the same just make a stack and put loads down and just loads of conduits and i think you should be fine i think you should be fine if you just want to make this early on and is that everything okay is there anything left of the farming station um nope we covered everything okay so now we are to move on to on to the tutorial and I will get everything set up and I'll be back so that we may start. Okay everyone, so I am ready to build this thing in that tutorial. Another part of the tutorial was rather a mouthful. I did not intend on this video being this long, so I apologize. But let's see, I want to place a crafter tier 3 directly in the middle, that is the middle and a trash can right beside it plus item filters or not item filters i hate it for some okay there we go for some reason it would always place right here when i tried to place it on top so you want to click this bottom bit right here and you want to set this to insert and you want to make a basic item filter i believe i showed you how to make that if not it is simply just some paper and a hopper and you want to set it so that it only has fertilize it will only discard fertilize essence and coal seeds but only put the coal seeds to once every slot in your farm has coal has cold seeds in them and basically fertilized essence can be obtained when farming uh when the crops they will occasionally drop uh the essence so what you want to do is s click this set this for always active uh, and you also want to put another item filter in here and make it s and just make it so that only coal essence can enter and you want to set this to extract always active put it into a chest for the sake of this video i'm going to be using a diamond chest set this to insert and then you want to place another one set this for always active and set 
round robin mode enabled, meaning that it will distribute the items evenly. Now you want to place down your generators. I'm probably just going to place down five. There we go. And place item conduits leading into them. Then you want to set them to, oh dear, I disabled that one. You want to set these to insert. There we go. Set all of them into insert, meaning that all of these will be inserted. There we go. And now, uh, let me just have a look over here. You want to go one, two, okay, two, two, two. If I can do this, okay, s since my game appears to be lagging and not uh, trying to work, I'm just going to do a bit of this farm and I'll be back to show you how to do it after I have actually. Okay, review ones. Basically, I haven't done much, but I thought this was important and it could be a bit confusing, so I started recording again. All I did was hook these energy conduits up back into the system and set these to only extract power from here. And now I basically went from here, I went three blocks up with the conduits, and now you want to place a nine by nine square of these growth um, accelerators, except only go three blocks out, leave the middle block at the edge, each one, so only go three blocks out, like this. So leave that block out because nothing's going to be growing on it. And then all you want to do is just put dirt on top of this, and right here you want this to be a solid pillar of dirt. And it won't, you want it to go three high, so yeah, I'll be back with you in just one second. So, if you did everything right, which you might not have since I didn't make a lot of sense, the bottom should end out like this. It should be a 9x9 nine nine square with that bit, that bit, that bit, and that bit dirt pillars. And then it should end up like this. So now you want to place a farming station here, and inside that you want to place a capacitor, which is completely optional, just because it... Uh, makes it without it like without a capacitor it'll only do this area of effect but with a capacitor it will reach out that far and it'll reach out way farther so if you want to expand this you can i just did a very simple and basic example and so you want to put a hoe in there i'll do just one that is unlimited there are several ways to get that there is a way to get it with an um tinker's construct which i might but that's for another day so I need worms. I forgot to get worms. Worms. Oh, basically. So for this for this design, you need th these things called worms, which can basically be obtained by hoeing land. If you hoe the ground, then you there is a chance you will get a worm. So you want to place one in this corner right here. Then go two blocks over. Place one here. Two blocks over. Place one here. Then switch direction. Two blocks. Two blocks. Switch direction two blocks two blocks uh two blocks so now all and the, what the worms do is they will occasionally bone mill the plants that they are planted on top of and they also hydrate the soil so now you should just have this inner ring place one there and there and there you go but that's not it what you want to do is get up here from underneath it could be a bit hard but just try to reach that and then in terms of items, you want to set this to extract, always active. And then you want to go to the power, which is this thing on the left, uh, I mean on the right, sorry. Uh, and you want to go to insert. And with the conduits, you want to take the energy conduit right here, like so. You want to bring this out. Then you want to take the item conduit and do the exact same thing but this is just to make it look a bit nice so i'm doing it in the opposite direction now you want to bring this all the way up as tall as the pillar and then you want to reconnect and then you want to reconnect the conduits uh like so and bring them all the way to the middle like that and do the exact same thing with the energy conduit i really love the lime green color of these energy conduits that's i mean lime green is pretty much my favorite color and that could have some area of effect which is 
That is why in my Let's Play uh, Space is Trying to Be 2 Let's Play World, I chose these, but I honestly, I kind of doubt it. And so, you want to place torches here, because this area is going to be covered up. And then you want to plant... You want to plant this area with coal seeds or you can just put one coal seed in this thing and just not worry about it so actually yeah just put one coal seed in there don't worry about it and then uh and then you want to place a full row of these except for on top of the dirt pillars and just place some dirt on top of that so i'll see you in just one second oh and leave a space in the middle by the way Okay, so I've done that. Now, the next step is you want to raise these up by three. There we go. And by the way, you can stop whenever you want to. Um, I would say, and I'm not exactly sure. Like, this, this design is just my design. Feel free to just take this design, modify it, expand it, and all sorts of stuff. Then, uh, just... Just saying, I don't, like, this isn't the only way to do it. This is one of many. This is probably one of the more inefficient ways. So, if you feel like you could do a better job, chances are you probably could, so go ahead and try. There we go. And I need another unlimited hoe. And, like so. And then we want to look up back in here and do the exact same thing. Always active, extract, power, insert. And now, uh, I you just repeat the worm process. Ooh, I need to put the capacitor in here. And now, basically, oh, it's already in there. Basically, all you have to do is repeat this. So just repeat doing the exact same steps. Like you want to extend this up to the tallest pillar again and then bring it in. And then the only difference about this is you want to use this growth crystal tier 3 right you want to put place that there and it should ha range in the entire area of effect it should range this is the range i marked out the range it is from here all the way down to here if you place it right where i placed it right there and it's basically really just the same thing over and over again so you can keep on building up but the gro keep in mind the growth crystal only has this range of effect and the only thing different the only difference you're going to come across is at the top. Uh, you don't extend this up. You do not extend this wire all the way up and do it. And have uh, wires coming in right here. Because the entire point of that is that the wires on the top feed into the layer above it. And since there's no layer above it, then there's no need for the wires. So anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed and I especially hope that I'll come back for the next episode. My Space Astronomy 2 playlist will probably be linked into the description. Bye!